Denver's rapid changing landscape continues to park, spark outrage from longtime residents, especially in neighborhoods like Five Points, where now they are going after Mayor Michael Hancock in a gentrification summit. Denver 7 reporter Eric Lufer was there, and Eric, it was a sign that really got people fired up. Well, and it's a sign that you've most likely seen or at least heard about. Last November, Ink Coffee set this sign outside on the sidewalk in Five Points, happily gentrifying the neighborhood since 2014, it read. That sparked protests and now full-on summits where residents are coming together to fight back. It wasn't just about a sign. Uh, this is about equity and equal access in our city for everyone. Local officials. Residents of Five Points and other historic Denver neighborhoods have been awakened. Gentrification is not a joke. Kicking out African Americans and Hispanics and Latinos and black and brown, etc., out of their homes is not a joke. Gentrification was front and center inside a packed Denver church today for the summit. The entire mentality that gentrification is progress is, is totally wrong. That term to this group just means a formal way of getting pushed out. I'm beyond angry. Uh, I've got a lot of cuss words I could tell you more descriptively what I how I feel. A booming city of Denver seems to have many people feeling left behind. I think that generally um, developers have had a free-for-all and things have really gotten out of control without concern for um, being sure that people aren't involuntarily displaced. Mayor Michael Hancock is getting the brunt of the attacks. Uh, I'd like to see the mayor uh, resign early. And coming back to Denver and seeing the real lack of leadership that he's um, demonstrating has been disappointing for me. The mayor got out in front of today's summit a couple days ago, holding his own Facebook Live forum about this very issue. Folks have been challenged and frustrated by housing. And by the way, this is personal. I, I've got family members who uh, my own children have said, you know, what's going on here? The mayor saying a lot of what is happening started well before he took office. If you look at some of our neighborhoods like Five Points, you would see in Curtis Park, you will see that these neighborhoods began to shift back in the 1990s. And there hasn't been able, hasn't been a solution that's been able to be brought forward to to, uh, to curtail it. These Denverites aren't giving up hope to preserve what's left of what they've grown to love. I would love to see Five Points return to a cultural district. I fear that that is quickly being erased. The mayor admitting change doesn't come without a price. Prosperity is not always painless. And that's what we are seeing is where we have some gaps in the opportunities that have been created through our prosperity. And we will never stop trying to address those, those gaps. Now, Candy Sitabaka, who you heard from in my story, is from the Swansea neighborhood. She's actually running for city council, Jacqueline, in 2019 because of this whole gentrification issue. So clearly neighbors are still outraged about what's going on there. And they will be for a long time. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Eric. Sure.